Hi, good morning, friends. Uh, we understand uh, this COVID-19 is a grim situation where everybody is currently getting used to the new normal. Um, however, uh, for some, it's really uh, uh, it's a good news. So, th you know, there's, there's always some silver lining in a when there's a bad phase going on, some good things also do happen. And uh, I would say that for some of the international students who were providing essential services, um, there's a good news that they can work more than 20 hours at this point in time and they can even work 40 hours if they want to. Um, if you are a study uh, permit holder in a current academic session, you are, you are a full-time student, whether you're whether you doing online studies at this point in time, as almost every educational institute is doing, you are eligible to work off campus and you are providing an essential service, you can work more than 20 hours. That's a good news. So if you really want to see which are which are the things which cover which are which 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 are covered under guide on essential services and functions in Canada during COVID-19 pandemic, you can go to our blog uh, on our website www.stepwiseimmigrations.com and go through the blog. You will find the list of uh, different essential services. And if you are working in any of those essential services, you are certainly eligible to work for more than 20 hours. Hopefully you would have got this information from the workplace where you are currently working, but still, or if there is anybody who is looking to work into such kind of, uh, you know, uh, companies at this point in time, hopefully this will, uh, uh, this blog will help you. So have a good day. Uh, stay tuned. If you have any questions, please send them across to us at uh, stepwiseimmigrations at gmail.com or at info at stepwiseimmigrations.com. We'll be happy to answer your frequently asked questions. Have a nice day. Stay blessed. Stay safe. Thank you.